Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Knox Tries. I am, of course, your ghostly host with the most, Knox Burzum. And uh, with me tonight is a ball of beer. Great stage presence, I promise. Uh, the wife was nice enough to get me a couple of treats tonight. This one is created uh, by Iron Maiden from uh, Robinson's Premium British Beer. Uh, onward, onward, rode the 600. The charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balaclava in 1854. During the Crimean War, when 600 British cavalry courageously charged the massed Russian artillery, this gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came about due to a misunderstanding of an order given by the commanding officer, Lord Raglan. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. any rate, launched in 2013, Trooper is an award-winning premium British beer that has sold over 15 million pints worldwide, so apparently it's probably pretty good. Uh, Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson worked with Robinson's to develop a beer which has true depth of character, malt flavors, and citric notes from a unique blend of Bobeck, Goldings and Cascade, makes me think of tissue paper, hops, uh, apparently these are all hops varieties, dominate this deep golden ale with a subtle hint of lemon. I don't know how much of that I'll be able to taste, but what the hell, right? Uh, the wife is going to give a little taste test of this after I give you my initial opinion, and uh, we're going to see how this goes. Stuff from Cheshire, England, and it's four point seven percent by volume. So uh, here's to the trooper. Let's get this started. I'm gonna use my favorite ball opener tonight. This is straight from uh, Washington State, from Seattle. Thank you very much to our friend Meg Megan Megbun for uh, getting this for me a couple of years ago. Uh, oh, just noticed this. Uh, Iron Megan, Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast. Kind of neat. It's right on the top of the ball there. Kind of cool shit. Anyway. Oh. Ooh. You want to smell this or? Hmm. All right. Kind of interesting. All right. I'm going to pour a little bit of this into the uh, skull of my fallen enemy. Perfect glass for beer, I take it. You know. Just don't fuck up the pour. All right. Okie dokie. So, uh, let's see how this shit tastes. Looks gorgeous. Hopefully it tastes right. Ooh, that is nice and bright, full of flavor. I can actually taste uh, each one of the various kinds of hops that they put put in this, and there really is a subtle hint of lemon. Not sure how subtle it is, but it's actually very good. It's very refreshing. It's... Um, it's a lot like Leinen Kugel's uh, summer ale, only a hell of a lot better. Because, you know, it's not Leinen Kugel's. <laughs> I know, I live in Wisconsin, I'm supposed to love Leinies, but uh, I'm wearing a bear's head anyway, so I'm already fucked. Anyway, uh, here we go. Try this out. Based on the smell, I thought I was going to hate it, but I like it. Right? That confuses me very much. Right? Like, this this does not taste the way it smells, like, at all. I'm not normally a hops person, but I actually don't hate that. Like, describe the taste. 
The smell is nothing like the taste. No, no, not not even close. Um, zesty and smooth and pleasant. Yes, I'm fluffy as a newborn kitten right now. Like, the initial taste you get, like, I don't really taste much. But it's the aftertaste that you get, but it's it's pleasant. Yeah. It's a very smooth, not very aromatic. No, this is not taste. aromatic at all. Not aromatic. Like, I hate the... I don't really like the smell of it, but it tastes no. really good. I'm not going to lie. I don't like the smell of it at all, but uh, just like the top label says, it is definitely charged with flavor. Um, yeah, like, I, for a lady who does not normally like hops, that is a hops drink I would drink. Yeah. That is perfectly pleasant. So, uh, on a scale of one through five, I personally give this a five. I, for a hops drink that I would actually drink, yeah, holy shit, that does not happen. Yeah, five out of five for you as well? Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, five out of five from the metalhead and five out of five from the uh, non-hop head. So, uh, definitely go out, find yourself a ball of uh, the Trooper. This stuff sells for under, for just over $3 a bottle at uh, Woodman's here in Eau Claire. Feel free, go give your patronage and, uh, you know, Drop a like, comment, subscribe, Patreon coming very shortly, and, uh, you know, support starving artists like myself, but, uh, you know, got another one coming up for you soon, depending on how late I stay up tonight, maybe tomorrow, but, um, that'll be a cider, so, peace, love, and, uh, enter the void.